Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another episode of News Bites. In the news this week, Fortnite has been pulled from the Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store. Nvidia is supposedly preparing Ampere for launch. And PS5 might end up shipping with liquid metal. All this and more after the intro. And of course, as always, timestamps will be in the description down below. So starting off then, Epic's Fortnite has been pulled from the Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store following a disagreement, well, more so Epic skirting around the terms of service for both of the respective app stores in whether any purchases in the app store itself, i.e. what would be V-Bucks for Fortnite, well a 30% commission is supposed to go to the store itself. However, Epic has been, well, selling them outside of the store, meaning that you can buy them outside the actual Apple Store or Google Play Store and completely circumvent the 30% margin that they are supposed to make on it. As a result, both Apple and Google have gone ahead and taken them off of the App Store. However, that was not the end of the story because Epic is a big company and Fortnite is a very, very big game. And it turns out that Epic has likely been preparing this move for quite a long time. This is shown by the fact that essentially on the same day as getting pulled from both the stores, Epic managed to go ahead and hand in a full pre-prepared lawsuit on both of the companies, citing antitrust and various other anti-competitive business practices. Following this, Epic has also been striking back on places like Twitter and in Fortnite itself, go ahead and striking back with a an inspired ad campaign essentially ripping off or mimicking the Apple's own 1984 ad from a, well, a bit of a while ago. And of course, poking fun at Apple and essentially making them to be the big baddies. Also following this, on Twitter they have been striking back with absolute fury and sparking the hashtag FreeFortnite to be trending on Twitter. Epic has also noted that iOS players currently won't be able to play the game's next upcoming season. However, though, if you do already have the game installed on Android or you know on Apple, you can still play the game. It's just what's known as you won't be able to download it if you don't already have it. So in short, quite a colossal undertaking. It'll be interesting to go ahead and see what this epic battle might end up with. Moving on to the next topic, NVIDIA has been teasing Ampere with its recent 21 years and 21 days campaign. Yes, in a recent news item, it turns out NVIDIA has started a 21 years and 21 days event, essentially counting down to the 31st of August. What it's currently looking like, or is it being theorised to be, is that the 31st of August, or the 1st of September, depending on when they actually go ahead and do it, is going to be some sort of announcement event for the upcoming and, well, extremely hyped Ampere-based GPUs. Whether or, not the, whether or not that is the case, although it's not 100% known, but it is more than likely considering the supposed September launch date for Ampere, and it would make sense in the factor of being able to announce most of the mainstream cards, well, on the 1st or the 30, 31st, respectively. As for the 21 years portion, well, it's actually celebrating 21 years since NVIDIA launched the GeForce 256, one of the first major GPUs from the company, and one that helped usher in a new age for computer graphics, as well as starting to go ahead and chip away at 3DFX's own market share. Eventually, cards like the 256 and their successors would eventually go ahead and take 3DFX out of the market, and of course, GeForce to go ahead and grab them as well. But that is a story for another time, and a lot of new, well, old news that we're not going to get into here. And finally, for the last topic for today, PS5 and Liquid Metal. Yes, in a new patent recently discovered, apparently the PS5 will be using liquid metal as part of its uh, well, new thermal cooling solution. As you may all remember, back on the PS4 launch, whilst it was a very powerful and a very good console, it did however sound like a jet taking off. Well, apparently, what is being supposed is that this new liquid metal based cooling solution will essentially be allowing them to run it cooler than they otherwise would. Now, this will have some issues and caveats, and eventually I'm sure that the fans will have to eventually ramp up. But it's probably going to be a lot smoother than the sudden, well, stop-start behaviour of the PS4. Maybe they do actually have a fan curve based on it. Who knows, we will only find out when it comes out. I'm just going to take the time to read from a recent news article by 
gamesrant.com on their piece on the PS5 with these well text that they've got ahead and placed here. The liquefied metal will replace the grease that has been situated between the semiconductor chip and the system's radiator. According to the patent, the metal will lower thermal resistance between these two parts of the consoles, which will improve the f cooling performance of the semiconductor chip. The liquefied metal will be kept sealed in the console with ultraviolet cured resin so that it would not leak into other parts of the console while heated. While some people are nervous about the console containing liquefied metal, especially with an electronic device having to be built and shipped, but the metal is only liquefied when the device is on. Now, I only wanted to highlight this because of the fact that the metal would only be liquid whilst the device is on. And that, for me, begs a question. How do you replace well, the liquid metal if you needed to? I mean, it's a simple question. Like, don't know, it could be that it's just... When they say liquefied, it could vary to what degree they mean liquefied, where it be partially liquefied or just completely full liquid. But if it's going to be essentially a solid you know, lump of metal rather than actual liquefied metal whilst the device is off, that could potentially mean an issue for do-it-yourself repair people, you know, who want to go ahead and open up their console, go ahead and clean it up, change the thermal pa uh, fit, well, not thermal paste anymore, the thermal interface material in general, because obviously, you know, you should be able to maintain your console. So this could be a potential DIY issue that well, we really haven't encountered before due to liquid metal not really being used, and especially liquid metal not really being used in such a complicated and somewhat convoluted well, solution. It's more than likely going to work really well, like liquid metal is extremely good firmly, con you know, firmly conductive wise, but central DIY issues in the future? Maybe. But yeah, interesting stuff and well, I'm sure we'll go ahead and see more of it in the future as we learn more about the console closer towards its release. Alright, and that is all we have time for today, so we'll about to go ahead and call the end of the video. Uh, Timestamps of course in the description if you want to go over anything or pick up on a couple of points. And, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So, like the video, you like it, dislike it, if you dislike it, any thoughts or questions, leave them in the form of the comments down below. Don't forget to check out my Discord, Patreon, Twitch, and Facebook. Seriously, there's, there's ways you may know. It's getting hard to remember them all. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more content from me, as always. And this is the 117th Con, signing off. Stay safe out there, folks. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Until then, ta -ra.